Okay guys, uh, my E-Flight 70mm F-16 with AR-631 and an IX-14. And let's see if I can get through this uh, upside down wing rocking routine thing and uh, reversal of controls. Uh, got a car coming by, so anyway. So that's right aileron, and the right one is up, left one's down, that's correct. Up elevator's correct, down, left, right. So the controls move the correct direction, all right? My preferred method of testing is put it in safe mode and pick it up and tilt it and make sure that the aileron on the wing tip that goes up also goes up to push it back down level and the one on this side goes down to bring it back up. So raise a tip, it should come up with you. If you raise the tail, the elevator should come up also to raise the nose and get it back to level. Now I'm gonna do the infamous upside down test and you can see that yeah, they go from full deflection one way to full deflection the other way. But look at it real close and make sure that it's not going to roll back to inverted, that it's actually going to roll the rest of the way to right side up, which it's going to do because I have everything set correctly. And as it gets back to level, they're centered. But all you really need to do is just tilt it 45 degrees and see what they do. So now, let's do some experiments. Let's go in and reverse the ailerons. Servo set up. Reverse, reverse the aileron, come back out. So now when I give it right, that's gonna make it turn left. And left is gonna make it roll to the right. So the ailerons are backwards on the stick, okay? But when I pick it up and tilt it, the gyro is still correct. So you can get them out of sync if you don't do it right lift this tip it should come up so the gyro is correct but the sticks backwards and once again when you flip it upside down yeah they go full deflection and if you look at it it will roll it toward right side up not back to inverted okay so now let's take the next step Let's go into forward programming and tell it to relearn the servo setting so that it teaches the gyro that left aileron is backwards, is left. So forward programming. And we go to relearn servo settings. Hit apply, hit complete. Come back out. All right, now, right aileron is still left on the airplane. So the ailerons are backwards on the stick. That's left aileron, and it's gonna roll to the right. Pick it up and do the 45 degree tilt test. And guess what? This one's going down. It's gonna roll it upside down. This one here is going down, not up. So it's gonna roll if I start here, it's going to roll this way. And when it gets to level inverted, hey, they do that same full throw dance. But if you look at it, those ailerons are going to roll it back to inverted every time. So you're going to get full deflection as soon as it crosses level, and it's going to put it right back to level. It's never going to go right side up. It's gonna keep your airplane upside down, but it's gonna be out of control like crazy because the servos are going full travel. That's bad. That will tear up your airplane, okay? So this test doesn't mean a thing if you don't look and see which way the airplane's gonna roll. So let's put it back right side up and fix it. We're gonna go back into the servo travel and we're gonna 
put the ailerons back the way they're supposed to be. But we're not going to do relearn servo settings yet. We're going to check them. All right. Right aileron, right aileron, left aileron, left aileron. What's a gyro going to do? Pick it up, tilt it 45 degrees. Oh, that aileron went down. That aileron goes down. So these ailerons, the gyro, is going to roll this airplane upside down. Even though your stick is correct, the gyro is backwards. Look at what it's going to do. It's not going to roll it this way. It's going to roll it back toward level. And as soon as it hits level, it's going to roll it back to level inverted. So it's never going to get right side up. It's going to keep rolling itself to inverted with full travel. Not gradual travel, full travel. So it's going to go nuts trying to stay upside down. Now, let's do the relearn servo setting. Go back in here. Forward programming. Relearn servo settings. Apply. Complete. Get out. Now, the stick is correct. That's right aileron. Right aileron. Left is correct. Pick it up and tilt it. That aileron's going up like it's supposed to. This one's going up like it's supposed to. It's going to roll it back level. Roll it inverted. Hey, it still does that test. I mean, it still does the full deflection jump. But if you actually look at it, in this case, it will roll the airplane back right side up and not back to inverted. So just tilt it 45 degrees and make sure the aileron goes up. Whichever wing tip is higher, that aileron should go up. If you raise the tail, the elevator should go up. If you lower the tail, the elevator should go down to push the nose back down. So just tilt it 45 degrees in each direction. Quit turning them upside down and rocking them back and forth because if you don't look at what they're doing, you could be mistaken. There you go. And maybe I got a good video. Hope you all enjoyed that.